Okay. Heart attack in a sack. Crispy chicken. It ain't KFC. I guess it's better than the burger. Oh yeah, desalinization time. Come on man, get all that salt off of there. down restaurant at a mom and pop truck stop like big boys look at them old timers there at that table can you imagine the stories being told how good trucking used to be how fast them trucks would go all the good stuff let's get rolling y'all all right clean money got a bath at the beacon i got breakfast at big boys hopefully we both got our shine back we're headed on south Let's go.
Publix since 10.36 this morning when I checked in. My appointment is for 11. It is now 4.30, 5 o'clock. Sorry, we forgot. So I get back here after wrecking my entire day. And they tell me, you gotta be on the ramp. No mud flap. There's my mud flap. Yeah, one guy on each side of the truck had me pull up. They stick the ramps down, wave me back. They're waving me back. Oh, you're good. Then they walk past the truck. Hey, dude. You ripped your mud flap off. Yeah. Not to mention the bracket. Not to mention the fact that it's cow mat. So now we get to go make another bracket. Buy another cow mat. Just a great day at Publix. Hmm. Okay, so I made it home, but my girls aren't here. They're down in Pompano Beach at a at an amateur golf tournament. Ryan's playing against the college girls this week, so I can't wait to see how she does. I got a lot of work to do around here and get ready for our trip. That was sweet. Christmas in Dixie. It's raining in the pines. <laughs> raining, rainy day. Merry Christmas. We got stuff to do. Let's go. up we get some work done around here working on the property clearing some land but uh clean money's parked look at there sitting there collecting leaves but uh now I've I've had a bunch of work to do out here and uh man I'm just staying off the road for Christmas I say this every year I've been saying it for years from Thanksgiving to Christmas or Thanksgiving to New Year's I'm gonna stay the hell off the road. And somehow I find myself back out there anyway. 
But uh, this year, same as every other year, I found myself missing too much time right before Thanksgiving. And I had to get out and run. And, uh, you know, I, I miss a lot because of golf. I, I, we were chasing golf tournaments. And uh, I had to get out and ran. And I ran, I don't know, two or three back to back. And I made it in for Thanksgiving. And right after Thanksgiving, I was able to get out and get like two more done. But that last trip coming home, man, coming out of the Northeast, just reminded me of everything I hate about trucking during Christmas. And uh, it was busy. God, it was busy. And then I got, of all places, I got I got held up on my on my delivery down there when I unloaded, and lost a a full day down there. You know, Publix Publix held me up pretty bad. Then when they finally they said, "Oh, man, we forgot you were here." Well, I've been to the guard shack and checked two or three times. Somehow they just missed me. But they finally got me back there. And I sat there for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. It wasn't long. And a couple of guys come walking out and said, Hey, dude, we got to put you on ramps for this door. And they had these aluminum ramps. And they, I pulled up. They slid the ramps back in there in, in place. And one on each side, and they're guiding me. Come on, come on back, come on back. So, all right, you got it. Hold up. And they're like, you're good. Dog it off. I thought we were set, and he comes walking by the, the door, and he's like, yeah, man, you tore your little mud flap off. Ah, so I was just iced on the cake for the day. That's cow mat. I have to make those. I make those out of cow mat. I make my brackets. Well, I was, I was a little bit pissed, you know. I, I try not to get that way out there on the road, but it happens. And uh, I was like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to try to load again and get up and down one more time, or if, if I'm going home, let me go get something to eat. Well, I found myself headed north. I got to Dade City there, the new racetrack, and you could park there and walk over to Cracker Barrel. Went, went to Cracker Barrel, and I, I got something to eat. And um, well, I was sitting there. I, I, well, I come out and I got on the phone with my wife and my daughter. They were away at a golf tournament, and we got to chatting, and without even realizing it, <laughs> I was headed north while we we're sitting there chatting on the phone. After about an hour of chatting with the two of them. So what do you plan on doing? I said, well, I guess I'm going home. I'm, I'm almost to Ocala. I'm in Ocala. And uh, so, uh, yeah, I went on home. And I was tired, man. I was so tired that trip up. Uh, yeah, that trip up got crazy. I did some, I did a run that I didn't know I still had in me. And um, I was so tired and it finally caught up with me. You know, it was one of them trips where I, I just couldn't make it home. I could not make it home. I live in Live Oak, just outside of Lake City. And um, I was almost to my exit. And right before my exit on Highway 90, there's a rest area. And you know, that's where I made it to. I said, you know, I just keep this close and I can't make it. I'm tired. So I pulled in the rest area. I don't know. Have you ever been that damn tired where you just can't get home? Um, so I pulled in and parked it. And I went to bed and I got up. First thing I did, got off my exit, got me some coffee, and I eased on into the house. But, uh, you know, I slept it off, and I was good when I got home. Um, so, uh, I got home, and then I started work here, and I still had this whole week. And uh, the more I sat around here and worked, you know, I had a fire over here. I started, I burnt this big pile, and I probably burnt, I don't know. 15 20 stumps because I I took the backhoe and I dug stumps out here uh, Earlier in the year and I probably burnt 15 or 20 stumps There's probably three on there that got rained on this morning. It finally went out after about three or four days But had the fire go on and I was getting a lot of work done But I kept thinking man I'm Just lonesome my girls ain't here uh, there's Really nothing to do, but uh, keep burning this fire uh, the fire doesn't need me. I, maybe I'll go down to watch the golf tournament. But with fuel price the way are, and I got a diesel pickup, I said, "Heck with it. I ain't. Uh, I ain't gonna drive down there to Dural. That's practically Miami. So here I am, and I thought, man, I got on the low board and I started looking at loads. So maybe I'll do something around here. And uh, you know, I." Uh, I was so frustrated looking at the shit on the low board. 
you know, and, and I got my reefer stuff I could go do for my man, and I'm pretty sure he needed me, but I just really didn't want to head all the way up to the northeast. I didn't want to go up there and fight with all that. I was just looking for something short to keep me busy, a day or two right here, maybe do a two, three right here close, uh, Gainesville, Ocala, down to Lakeland and back. But looking at the shit on that board, and I, excuse my language, that's what the hell it is. That's all that's out there right now. You know, way back in the day, man, you could you could truck all year, and you knew there were certain times of the year. Fourth of July, you were getting that spike. Easter, you were getting that spike. Valentine's Day, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, uh, you were getting those spikes in fray, especially if you pulled the reefer. Those were your, your spikes, you know. There's at one time there's you know all the mixer produce but then you got the you know the corn the, the loads of corn will spike up the watermelons and uh berries and you know it's just not happening right now it's, that's how crazy this market is i've man i tell you in all these years i haven't seen it like this now and, and i honestly think there are fools out there so desperate for the loads that they're bidding them down if somebody's posting a load for three grand I, i'm I honestly think there's probably guys calling up saying, dude, I'll do that for 28. I'll do it for 25. Just give me the damn load. I think that kind of stuff is going. I don't know any other explanation. But we're not seeing those spikes, those seasonal spikes uh, for those those special days, those holidays where you get that. And it, and it didn't ha it's not happening right now. I ain't messing with it. Um, you know, you're asking a lot of a guy to leave his home, leave his family, leave his friends and every, everything he knows and loves to get out there in that truck and risk his life up and down the highway with all the freaking idiots. You know, they're pulling camper trailers, and they're, they got the little uh, luggage racks on the back of their car and on top of their cars and minivans, and they're weaving in and out, and they're all in this big-ass hurry. They don't care about you, man, and uh, they, they'll take you out. And it, it isn't worth the risk, and it isn't worth the time to be gone for me. I mean, I need to get paid if I'm leaving. It's, it's like if you worked... Uh, at the at the at the shop or the factory or or the big mill or or the or the manufacturing plant you know you work on a holiday you get overtime and in some cases you're getting double time pay you're compensated for that um there's holiday pay overtime pay uh, out here in trucking hell we're barely we're barely even getting regular time pay it's not worth it to come out in the holidays during christmas and new year's and easter i'm not doing it um if you decide to do it, please, man, don't run for these rates that you're seeing posted. Tell them to screw that. Double it up if you have to. If they say no, call the next one. Somebody's going to need you because they're just, there can't be that many people out there just dying to go work through the holidays. And to top it off, we're fixing to get this winter storm. And it's, it's going to be... You know, this winter blast, bomb, cyclone, some crazy ass. I've trucked through many blizzards. Uh, but they're saying this one's going to be bad, like this super deep freeze. And uh, all these states going to get these negative temperatures and, you know, a foot of snow here and there. I'm not going to try it. And chances are you're going to get hung up somewhere. Uh, uh, receiver's not going to come in. They're going to be shut down. Uh, the roads, you know, are going to be... Uh, really hard to pass through it's not worth it but if you do go do it man be charging double and triple of whatever that bull crap they've got posted on the load board uh and if you haul for a regular guy and you don't play on the board still you know the deal hey you got to get paid uh because while you're out there um trucking up and down that dangerous ass highway and missing your family and friends making the sacrifice to make a few extra dollars they're gonna be home they're gonna be eating christmas ham and you know, going and cruising around the neighborhood on the golf cart, looking at Christmas lights with their, with their kids and their and their wife and their husbands, and just get paid, get paid, man, get paid. If you go haul on this holiday, um, make sure you're getting paid because I don't see nothing on these boards worth going and doing. And uh, but if you if you feel you just need to and you you want to get there and give it a shot, double and triple what you see and again if you haul for a regular guy and he pays you pretty good bump it up on him too you deserve it you need it um in the meantime i'm gonna be out here 
uh, lighting this fire again because I decided not to go down to the golf tournament. Uh, my little girl's in her, got two more days of that, and then they'll be back here. I guess when they get here, um, uh, that'll be it for the truck. I'm not getting back in the truck. Um, when they get here, they get here on the 24th, Christmas Eve morning, um, at 8 a.m., we have to be in Jacksonville and get on the plane, and we fly into Denver, and hopefully it's not snowed in. It looks like we're going to be just behind the storm. That It's going to really do its thing Thursday and Friday, Friday being the worst, and we're going to come in on uh, Friday night or Saturday and be just in behind it, so hopefully we're not going to be, you know, trapped in Denver Airport. We can get in there, do our layover, catch our next flight, and we're going to fly into... Uh, Williston we were flying into Minot which is almost two hours from my boys so now we're flying into Minot which is where they are they they both have apartments in the town of Minot and uh Clayton's off for Christmas because he just had his uh newborn son so he had off until the uh 27th or 28th so he's been off for about a week uh two weeks my little grandson's two weeks old right now and I can't wait to go see him so um, and EJ's out on the rig right now, and I guess it was, God, in, near the 20 below mark, and uh, I don't know what company he was on the rig for, and they only put one heater up on the platform. He said it was pretty damn brutal cold, but they were still up there putting casing, running the casing in the ground. That's, that's some tough work right there, buddy. Uh, you think you're tough, go get on a damn oil rig in North Dakota in the Badlands out in the Bakken and uh, run casing in 20 below <laughs> <laughs> weather god i'm not that tough guys i i couldn't do it makes me real thankful for the warm heater in my truck and that air conditioner in the summer but that's where we're at so we got a couple more days it'll be time to fly out and um off to north dakota uh hope everybody's having a, a great christmas season and they're spending time with their loved ones if they're not out on the road hopefully they're spending plenty of good quality time with their loved ones and uh, if you're all on the road, be safe and watch out for the crazies. And uh, when you get to Christmas, hope you have a merry one when you finally get to it. Um, I'm going to go uh, light this fire and get dinner. We'll catch you in a couple of days from Jacksonville Airport. <laughs> See ya. Chug it up.